What is up everyone? Welcome into the old coffee shop. Today we are doing another unboxing of the of an all elite crate. If those wondering what this exactly is, this is a mystery box service. They're done by All Elite Wrestling, which carries all sorts of different All Elite Wrestling merchandise that you will not normally find in their shop. They send these every three months. Now, there's two different crates available. The normal one, which I have, $34.95 US a month plus shipping, gives a variety of merchandise, including two t shirts and an autographed 8x10. For those wanting to go on the less expensive side or just interested in the clothing, they also have another box for $20 a month plus shipping, which gets you two exclusive t shirts. Now, the the regular box, nine items every time, two shirts, the autographed 8x10, a micro brawler wrestling figure, lapel pin, four additional various items, a shot at winning front row seats to an episode of Dynamite, and they'll send you codes good for 10% off shopaew.com. Now, the next crate, which comes out in July, here should give a little preview as to who's going to be featured in it. We've got CM Punk, Dr. Brick Baker, DMD, Evil Uno, Jade Cargill, The Acclaimed, Santana and Ortiz, Hangman Adam Page, Malachi Black, and Chris Jericho. So, it's all very interesting stuff they uh, put in there. So, let's uh, dive right in. I do have the box opened up here beside me, as I do did kind of a live show and tell on my Twitch channel a couple of days ago. First up, we have the card, which gives a little summary of everything. We have here a set of Dark Order playing cards. Now, all the cards have this Dark Order logo on them. Nothing, just regular deck of playing cards otherwise, I'm afraid. No pictures of Evil Uno, Alex Reynolds, or anyone in there. A little disappointing. Still... Save these t-shirts for last, I think. Here is the Micro Brawler. A little mod mini vinyl figurine. This one, the Mad King, Eddie Kingston. And they give some base uh, stats on the back. There with uh, height, where he was born, when he started wrestling. Not too bad of a likeness. Mm -hmm. Save the photo for last as well. Now, they also throw in a retro-looking poster that uh, happened of an, a match that happened during a... Uh, pay-per-view that they did from a couple of years back. This one, promoting the first stadium stampede match that they did at Double or Nothing. See pictured here, Kenny Omega, the Young Bucks, Broken Matt Hardy. Not pictured was Hangman Adam Page, who was the fifth of this team. Going up against... The Inner Circle. 
who were Santana and Ortiz, Chris Jericho, Sammy Guevara, and Jake Hager. Mm -hmm. that was, and that was quite the wild cinematic type match. A little something extra that surprised me. We got a DVD this time. Best of All Elite Wrestling's Dark, Volume 1. Still will have it in the wrap, haven't tried, checked it out yet. We've got nine matches all together here. Strong Hearts against the Young Bucks. Kip Sabian versus Kenny Omega. Dante Martin versus Matt Sedal. Big Swole and Chris Statlander tag teaming against Dr. Brick Baker, DND, and Riho. News will see in them tag teaming as usually they were against each other. A trios match Evil Uno, Allen Five Angels, and Colt Cabana of the Dark Order against Death Triangle. And for those not sure, Death Triangle is Pac, as well as the Lucha Brothers. They're Ray Phoenix and... Yeah, I keep messing up on his name. Anyway. Next up, Robert Anthony versus John Moxley. Another Kip Sabian match with Penelope Ford going up against Joey Janela. I think that might be the match where Penelope Ford turned on Janela. Brian Pillman Jr. up against Eddie Kingston. And finally, Darby Allen versus Sema. There's the listing on the back. And that should be a pretty good little watch there for some memories. And, as mentioned, they give it a lapel pin every time. We have here a lapel pin made like a poker chip for the Double or Nothing pay-per-view, which is coming up near the end of May. Wish I was going to be able to watch it, but work. Mm -hmm. And, of course, a little... Promo for the Double or Nothing pay-per-view. Got to get some advertising in. Happening Sunday, May 29th. And if I could, I'd be watching it on Fight TV. Oh, well. We have a vinyl sticker of the current AEW women's champ. There's Thunder Rosa. He is a fun watch. And two t-shirts. One of the rivalries going right now. They think they hopefully had a finale to it, though, this past Friday on Rampage. For the AEW uh, Men's World Championship. The challenger, Adam Cole, baby. And again, these t-shirts are not in the AEW shop. And the current AEW World Champion, Hangman Adam Page. I do, I like the design on this shirt. This one will be going into the occasional wearing. And the last bit to show off, of course, the uh, autographed 8x10. Previous boxes, the 8x10s were of some of the female wrestlers, Anna J, Hikaru Shida. This time, we get QT Marshall. So, eh, bit of a step down. <laughs> 
Still good to have a little something different. So that is everything that was in the crate. Now I do, to me, being a fan of all elite wrestling, I find these are good. This is an overall good value. So definitely check out the site, all elite wrestling, all elite crate dot com. And take a look, sign up if you feel you can afford. I do just full dis disclosure, no affiliate link or anything made by me here. I'm just showing this stuff off because I am a fan. So thanks everyone for coming in to uh, check out this uh, showing of the All Elite Crate. There, please consider hitting that subscribe button, hit that bell. And I also do live stream here on YouTube Monday through Saturday. There, just uh, watch for those notifications. Presently 11 a.m., 4 p.m. Monday to Friday, 4 p.m. on Saturday. And starting somewhere through the week, last week of April, it'll be down to 4 p.m. Eastern, Monday through Saturday. Thanks again, everyone, for watching. We will see you later on in the coffee shop. Bye.